What makes me even qualified to talk to you about transitioning from a new leader to then being a leader of leaders? Much of my career have been spent in very large corporations like LexisNexis, where I worked there for over a decade. Uh, it was where I got my first professional career job right out of college, and ultimately it's where I became a manager of people for the very first time. And in that first manager role where I was managing people, it was, I struggled really most of the time in that role. I had a very demanding vice president who both really mentored me and helped me grow, but also really threw me into the ocean to either sink or swim. And I'm telling you, I swallowed a lot of water uh, just to keep afloat. So I was pretty frustrated in this new role because I received very little formal leadership training. Uh, I learned ultimately that I was on my own if I wanted to be a better leader. I had to figure this out on my own. And leaders I work with today, uh, they're experiencing the same thing that I did. Uh, new leaders are expected really to be effective leaders right out of the gate. 